This year's Crime Commission is now less than two months away. So I suspect you have already sent in your side event application, but if not, and you see this video before Friday the 23rd of March, you still have a few hours left to do that. So you'll find a link to the form on this page. Plus, uh, we will have a meeting on the 9th of April with the Civil Society team in Vienna, and someone from the Conference Services Office there will be also there to review uh, more details with us about the CCPCJ. Rather than just having a long email, I decided to make this video pretty quickly to send out because I wanted you to know about an initiative that a few of us have begun investing in and we call it Solve 2018. So what is Solve 2018? I would have to say that it had its roots in the ongoing challenge for civil society to, in, you know, to play an active and useful role in the larger work of the UNODC and the United Nations. All too often, we all know so very well that the leading edges of change emerge from civil society and yet we continue to find it so hard to have a place in the real work of global policy development and more at UNODC and beyond. Now keeping that in mind, it is also a unique way, Solve 2018 that is, is a uni unique way that the Alliance can refresh its role as a partnership platform. Now what do I mean by that? I hope it will become more clear as we move along both through this information and the whole process. Um, this video is not going to be exhaustive. I just wanted to make sure that you're at least aware of what me and my small team of young interns have pulled together already. We want to bring a little bit of innovation into the margins of the 27th CCPCJ. And because the solve mechanism is meant to be and in, is intended to be a short, focused kind of multi-stakeholder work that develops some strategic recommendations in each of the three larger areas of work, we are calling it SOLVE, SOLVE 2018. It is intended to be about figuring out ways we can work better together to address critical issues and not just to debate about the reasons why we cannot. So if this work is going to be grounded in use cases. Luckily for us, there is a formula for that and we intend to use it. Solve 2018 is intended to enable the interested experts, diplomats, activists, and even UNODC staff who are available um, and who will all be already in Vienna for the 27th CCPCJ, it's an, the opportunity to work together in a, in a strategy sprint and to strengthen the involvement of those in tech, especially given the digital nature of our direction forward in the world today. The three areas of focus that we have are cybercrime, countering violent extremism, and preventing wildlife trafficking. So if you're already working in any one of these areas, or if one of these areas are of interest to you or someone in your organization, please consider having them sign up to participate. We do not really need many people. I would hope that we only have about five or six in each team. So space may well be limited. Plus, they need to be multi-sectoral teams. So we're working to ensure that that will be the case. Hence, we have outreach underway, uh, but we'd be happy for you to help us do some of this if you have any suggestions, uh, to diplomats, to UNODC, to institutes, private sector experts, and especially those in the tech arena, and of course, you, the NGO representatives active in each of your areas of concern. The work of these strategy sprint teams, and we call these teams metanets because they do have a particular mandate and process to go through, will be scheduled by those in the team around you know, their other responsibilities during CCPCJ. But they will be expected to put in probably at least two hours every day, at least, hopefully more, um, or they simply won't be able to have enough time to really produce something useful. All participants will also need to be available on the Sunday before the CCPCJ to get their, not only to get the UN passes, but also to participate in the half day orientation, meeting with their facilitators, and because each team will have one, and to form the teams. We believe we will have a room dedicated to this work somewhere in the VIC for the duration of, of 
the, the commission. Our facilitators will provide the support that the teams will need to be productive and to make use of the strengths of the sprint process. In other words, for those who choose to participate, Solve 2018 will help make your time in Vienna even more meaningful and productive. Of course, this is not for everyone, but it is a way that civil society can lead a new process and, and have it take place parallel to the, to the Crime Commission. And it can show what we can get done where small teams of focused, knowledgeable, engaged people are determined to work on some of the toughest issues. All of this builds on some thinking that started two years ago at the 25th CCPCJ, when I ran smack into the same old problem that we all do almost every year, and that's how civil society just keeps, seems to keep knocking on the doors waiting to be let in. But it's never happened since 1945, so we have to start doing something different ourselves. There is a lot more to the story of what happened between the 25th session and this 27th session, but that's of little interest. It's not irrelevant, but it's of little interest perhaps to most. In the end, the main point is this. The Alliance can initiate and lead a new process that is multi-sectoral and strategic in light of shrinking UN budgets and the reality of continuously shifting transnational forces fueled by today's evolving technologies. So as technology continues to drive significant changes in how we do business and the way we go about living our lives, waiting for an aging 20th century system, yes, the UN, to magically adapt itself fully is simply dreaming. What we can do, however, is start with small strategic changes that can shift the trajectory of how we, that is, civil society, academia, the institutes, the private sector, everybody, the UN, the member states, including all of the civic organizations, domestic and international, can work together. In conclusion, I'm also suggesting there is a possibility that each of the Alliance focal points might consider leading your own strategy sprint on your own topic. Of course, you could use the platform that we're putting together and the framework and, and the support system. But we figured this year would be experimental and so we'll be very happy to have even one productive MedNet produce significant results. Since we've never done this before, I'm not sure what we can even expect in terms of participation. But I do know that these processes work and they produce amazing outcomes. As Seoul 2018 proves to be an exciting and productive way to work, we can then do more. But for now, please do look it over, think about who you might know might be good to participate, and if your organization would like to sponsor this event, we would be most grateful. It will cost a little, um, you know, just to bring together all of the resources, plus we'd really like to have a reception and invite all of the missions as well as the key UNODC offices, offices and personnel after the findings of the teams present their outcomes on, on our Friday session. So we certainly would appreciate your support, a few hundred dollars here or there to help the Alliance with that so that we can do this together as the Alliance. The sponsoring information is also below. Please connect with me with questions uh, uh, if you have any and if it looks like it would be good for you to do, we can have an online meeting uh, for Q&A about Solve 2018, even before the April 9th date that we have uh, in conjunction with the Civil Society Office. Anyway, whatever the case, shoot me a quick email if you like the idea, if you think it's stupid, what, you, what you're thinking maybe um, you could do or you, you know, how you could sponsor or help. If you've got any ideas, please email me, let me know. You can send the, it just to info at, at cpcjalliance.org. Um, and all of the other relevant links we'll have below in the email and on the page that you'll be able to see this video, I believe. Anyway, that's about it. I thank you very much for your time. Sorry this got a little bit long, but this is a new endeavor and it does take a little explaining and it'll probably take more explaining, but I just wanted to get something shot out to you so you can keep uh, your eyes out for more information as we, as we get going. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you all in Vienna in a couple of months.